I think the best way we can support infrastructure is through using um, things like TIF and Brownfield and hopefully private investment um, grants and our general fund and we have to use that. Um, if I had to think about all the infrastructure, there's a lot of infrastructure in this city. What, the things that right now I feel like people talk to me the most about or I see is um, transportation, multimodal transportation. Um, so there's people who want to ride their bikes and walk and maybe they're in wheelchairs. We need to make sure people can get to the spaces they want to be by the way they want to get there. But we also have to face the fact that there's lots of cars coming in too and our roads. Um, I think that infrastructure really needs work. Right now, obviously we're looking at redoing A Street and that's gonna take a lot of um, different ways to fund it. So I think transportation is one. The second thing is parking. We really need to work on our parking. So there will be a transportation study that comes out at the end of October. I think that's gonna be really enlightening and uh, figuring out a way to pay for either a West End parking deck if, if it says it's needed. Uh, because we have people in our town who can't walk or ride. Um, a senior citizen just talked to me the other day saying that we need more handicapped parking. You know, and I, I hadn't thought about that. Uh, they can't get there without a car. So, uh, you know, how do we balance all those infrastructures, right? Parking and that. And then the other one is storm water. So um, people don't think about it, but we, uh, City Commission just had a presentation the other day. We need to invest millions of dollars in stormwater. And that could have the option of being paid for by, um, if the Michigan legislature allows us to create a stormwater utility. I know some people might be against it, but I feel like we have to protect our water. And so if we could use that ability to create a utility, I would be in favor of that utility. Uh, I think the numbers were we need to invest um, three or two or three million dollars at the start and a million dollars every year after. That's a significant investment and I think we need to make that investment in our city. If we don't have clean water, no one's going to come here. <laughs>